Hello everyone. Thank you for accompanying our channel. Today, let's find out how the new Porsche Macan sports car is assembled. The Macan is assembled in the body shop from hundreds of individual steel and aluminum parts that are step-by-step -step joined to create the vehicle's metal shell. Adjustable welding clamp produces up to 5,200 welding points. These clamps automatically adjust when the integrated monitoring system detects even the slightest misalignment in the vehicle's body. Thus, all welding points are placed in the desired position. A total of around 400 robots transform the auto body repair room into an impressive vision. However, despite the high level of automation, humans are still important here, especially in quality control, system operations and some manual work. At the body shop, we believe in the harmonious interaction between professional human labor and advanced technology. The production of the Mackin's aluminum bonnet is a remarkable piece of engineering with no visible seams at the top of the bonnet. Never before has the bonnet structure of a mass-produced car been so complex. The car body factory includes several production facilities and one production line facility. Initially, individual parts were assembled into sub-components such as bonnets or glass in separate production areas. These parts are then installed into a machine body in the production line area. The entire underbody of the car is transferred to the body assembly, where the unpainted body is assembled. This includes the installation of mid and exterior panels and roof installation. Two different basic roof versions were delivered to the factory for Mac and assembly, sliding roof and hard roof. In production cells, these roofs are placed through additional variations, with or without roof bars and with or without SDARS. We typically prepare eight different roof variations for assembly. This is the last station in the body assembly area. Here, the air suspension brackets and torque supports for the turbo engine are welded into place. To optimize working comfort for our colleagues, the vehicle body is rotated 90 degrees to avoid overhead work. The paint factory at Porsche Factory Leipzig is one of the most famous paint facilities in the world. Here, the car body goes through a multi-step painting process to create a perfect paint surface. In addition, the paint factory offers a wide range of colors normally found only in the manufacturing process. In addition to the 16 standard colors, the body can also be painted in any individual color. At the paint factory, Porsche sets both technical and ecological standards. The new paint separation system significantly reduces emissions of environmentally harmful solvents from the painting process. Furthermore, the paint factory also possesses an advanced energy concept, using heat from a neighboring biomass power plant that provides up to 80% of the paint factory's heat needs in a carbon-pure integrated manner. Before receiving the first coat of paint, the car body undergoes careful preparation. To ensure the metal purity of the surface, lubricants, rings and other impact agents are removed. A phosphate coating process is then performed to provide optimal adhesion to the corrosion protection layer. The car body is rotated 360 degrees in the basin to prevent the formation of peeling in the gaps, and then the phosphate coating is consolidated in a subsequent treatment. The electrochemical coating process is an electrochemical process primarily used for corrosion protection. The car body is put into the basin, where electrochemical coating and purified water are applied. To achieve optimal coverage, the body is rotated on its own axis in the basin. As the paint has a negative charge, it is transferred down onto the body of the car, where the body acts as a cathode. The result of this process is a smooth and uniform layer of paint on the metal surface and in the crevices. After leaving the pot, the car body is dried at 175 degrees Celsius for 50 minutes. Here, the vehicle's weld lines are tightly sealed with special PVC material. Although most steps in this process are performed by application robots, there are still some manual workflow procedures. Undercarriage protection is also applicable here consisting of a material containing mainly PVC to protect the vehicle's body from gravel. The paint robot now applies primer on both the inside and outside of the vehicle body. This coating smooths out any irregularities and has UV protective properties. Thanks to its high elasticity, the primer protects the top coat from damage and at the same time enhances shine. 
We use three different primer colors, depending on the vehicle's primary paint color. White primer is used for light primary paint colors, charcoal primer for dark primary paint colors, and we have medium gray primer for middle paint colors. The final step here is a 40-minute drying process, during which the final cross-linking takes place at high temperatures. Before receiving the final color, the body is thoroughly cleaned and any dirt from previous processes is removed. Only then is the main color layer applied using sprayers that rotate at high speed. A small spray of color mist creates the desired color. We use a special type of main color layer for metallic colors. However, this paint alone cannot create a glossy surface. As the carrier, water and solvent, evaporates, the paint layer becomes opaque. The car body then undergoes an 8-minute intermediate drying process before the protective layer is applied with the same precision as the previous layers. This protective layer is mainly responsible for gloss and color depth, and provides perfect and reliable protection against environmental damage. To harden the main paint layer, the car body undergoes a drying process for 35 minutes at 135 degrees Celsius. After the drying process, the car is brought back to the ground and thoroughly inspected in a light tunnel. This tunnel is equipped with LED light strips that illuminate the car's body. LED light tubes produce a uniform light pattern, helping quality inspectors detect even the smallest imperfections in the paint. Here, we do not accept any imperfections. If there are any minor defects in the paint, the vehicle body will be removed from the line and sent to the on-site repair process. At this point, the original body has been transformed into a sleek Porsche Macan or Panamera, which is delivered to the assembly line. Our journey continue with the powerhouse that drives the Macan, the engine. This intricate process involves the attachment of gear transmissions, AC compressors, generators, starters, and servo pumps to the delivered engines. But we don't stop there. Meticulous quality control ensures that each engine meets our uncompromising standards before it takes the next step in its journey. Moving seamlessly from raw power to refined luxury, the interior line takes center stage. Doors are delicately removed to allow for individual attention on the door line. The cockpit, a marvel consisting of up to 200 parts, takes its place, adorned with components like sliding or panorama roofs, control units, roof lining, and grab handles. This is where the key is trained, gracefully finding its home in the ignition for the first time. On the exterior line, robots take the stage, fitting front and back windows, bonding them into place, and proudly placing the iconic Porsche crest on Macan and Panamera models. The completed doors return to embrace the body, completing the intricate dance of exterior assembly. As we progress, the door line unfolds, revealing the artistry involved in assembling side door components. Windows, mirrors, door handles, locks, seals, frame trims, and interior trim all come together in a symphony of craftsmanship. Witness the transformation as the door's weight evolves from a humble 8 kilos to a substantial 25 kilos, a testament to the precision at play. The underbody line choreographs the assembly of the vehicle's foundation. Brake and fuel lines, cable harnesses, fuel tanks, and park heating find their places. It's the unseen ballet that ensures the vehicle's integrity and functionality. As we approach the climax, the marriage stage unfolds. Here, an automated guided vehicle system orchestrates the placement of the completed drivetrain beneath the waiting vehicle body. In a moment of technological poetry, the engine, chassis, and body are virtually married. Tailpipes become the final touch, sealing the union with finesse. The wheel mounting stage adds a touch of elegance. The steering wheel and driver airbag take their positions before wheels, each weighing 35 kilos, are mounted with precision using a handling unit and bolter. The test line orchestrates the first moments on its wheels, igniting the engine for the first time. Chassis and headlight tuning, calibration of driver assistance systems, wheel alignment, a symphony of tests ensures each Porsche is finely tuned for perfection. The test drive and final inspection unfold as the vehicle takes to the test track. 
lights, water tightness, a simulation at 120 km per hour, every nuance is examined. A thorough wash and interior cleaning prepare the vehicle for its grand reveal. The audit, our grand finale, subjects each vehicle to an even more detailed inspection. Functionality, lighting, road tests, surface finish, paint finish, and seams, every aspect is meticulously examined. Only after meeting our highest standards does each Porsche earn the right to be packed for its journey into the world. In this exclusive behind-the-scenes look, you've witnessed the artistry, precision, and dedication that go into creating the iconic Porsche Mackin. Each vehicle, a testament to the pursuit of excellence, awaits its moment to roar to life and grace the open road.